In Kowenta, Liberia, youth leader D.K. Woikoli and teacher Esther Dolo want affordable electricity so the local youth can see in order to learn and ultimately find good jobs. In nearby Baranga, three to four hours drive from Monrovia, people want affordable electricity to ensure the peace and security of the community. In Aditikope, Togo, villagers need an electricity supply system to charge cell phones and power local businesses. And in Ansirabe, Madagascar, women in the village want new stoves to replace the wood and charcoal stoves that emit fumes and damage their lungs. These were just some of the needs expressed in rural communities across Africa during energy consultations held by the World Bank from May to September 2010. This series of consultations followed more formal consultations with multi-stakeholders in Kenya, Mozambique, Egypt, and Benin. Clean, affordable, efficient energy, particularly electricity, is key to poverty reduction and economic growth. But much of Africa remains in darkness. Only some 29% of the continent's 1 billion people have access to electricity. Electrification access rates are particularly low in rural areas where the majority of the population lives and the poverty rate is the highest. 80% of Africans use wood or charcoal burning stoves for cooking. And in many countries, private businesses list lack of electricity as the foremost hurdle to doing business. To combat these challenges, the World Bank is reviewing its energy strategy. The new strategy will build on existing interventions by supporting developing countries' efforts to provide clean energy. The bank aims to provide financing, policy advice, partnerships and knowledge. During its energy consultations, the bank went beyond Africa's boardrooms and parliaments to get input from the region's rural communities. Hearing from rural communities is vital for planning and implementing an energy strategy that works at all levels of society. The new World Bank Energy Strategy is due to be released in mid-2011. It'll address the Madagascan women's call for cleaner cook stoves, the Togolese villagers' suggestion that solar power done right will save the environment, and Dikawo Koli and Esther Dolo's appeal for an affordable electricity supply to light their schools in rural Liberia. <laughs>